Today, we're going to be do- talking about how to build a life that you love. And when I look around my life, if I'm being honest with you, I fucking love it. And the reason why I know that I love it is because I built my life. And I became very intentional one day because one day I woke up and I realized that I didn't love my life. There was a time back in uh, about 2014 where I was actually kind of starting to get depressed and starting to feel like shit and starting to feel like my life had no purpose and I was going nowhere and it wasn't exciting to me anymore. And I was like, I can't do this any longer. Like I can't, if I fast forward 20 years from where I am today, I don't, if I'm this unhappy with my life in 20 years, it's gonna be terrible. I don't want to know where I am. And so for me, I was able to, through a lot of work every single morning, working and journaling and trying to figure myself out and trying to figure out what the hell I wanted and meditating on it and reading books and all this stuff, I was able to find what I feel is my purpose, which is what I do now. And like for me, I absolutely love what I do. I absolutely love my life. So why don't more people love their lives? Why are a lot of people that we see out in the world like, not really content. They're like kind of content, right? But a lot of people are content, but like slightly aggravated by the life. Oh, I've got a decent job. I kind of like what I'm doing. I kind of enjoy my life, but everything's, it's pretty good, right? I don't know about you, but I don't want to live a life that's just pretty good. Like I don't, if I'm going to be here for hopefully a hundred years, I don't want a hundred years of like, pretty good, I guess. Like, I don't know about you, but I want to have a life that's filled with stuff that I love, like that I actually love and really what I want to do. I don't want to do anything in my life that I'm not in love with. I don't want to be pissed off that I have to go to a job that I don't like. I want to be excited every moment of my life as much as I possibly can be, at least. And I think it comes down to building it. It comes down to being intentional. You know, if you're going to build a house, you don't just start throwing bricks everywhere. You have to build out the actual blueprint of what you want it to look like. So before you start building your life, which we've all been building our lives kind of unintentionally, most of us, and at some point you got to take a step back and and journal through it and be like, what do I want? What do I want my life to look like? What do I want my business to look like? My bank account, my, my family, every single aspect of it. What do I want it to look like and make the blueprint of it before you start actually building it? And so I want to tell you exactly how I kind of did it, and hopefully it'll help you be able to do it as well. And it all goes back to really, I would say about 2012. 2012 for me was was a big pivotal, 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 not pivotal, pivotal year for me because what I did was I quit a job uh, that I was working. I saved up for an entire year, and um, if I'm being honest with you, it actually started in 2011. I can take you to an exact moment. My cousin Jason and I were having a conversation in 2011 on Mother's Day. We were at my aunt's house, his mother's house. And he was like, how's life, man? How's everything going? And, you know, he's about 16 years older than me. And I've always looked up to him. And he's like, how's life? And I was like, oh, it's pretty good. He's like, how's your new job? And I was like, you know, that's pretty good. He goes, do you love it? And I go, no. And he goes, so why don't you quit? I was like, what? He's like, why are you just wasting your life doing something that you don't love? Like, what do you want to do? I was like, I don't know, man. He's like, have you ever thought of traveling? And I was like, no, that sounds pretty awesome. I would love to travel. Like I love traveling. And he's a, you know, a very successful guy. So I really look up to what he says. He goes, why don't you just quit your job and go travel in Europe? And I was like, the hell are you talking about? I was like, that's, that's kind of crazy. He goes, listen, when I was younger, I quit my job and I went and traveled Europe and ended up staying there for a couple of years because of the people I met. And I, you know, fell in love with the people that were out there. And I fell in love with where I was and lived in France. He lived in all these different places. And he was like, why don't you just quit your job and travel? And I was like, something about that question feels right. Like the, it feels like, yes, this is what I need to do. And it was literally that moment. I was like, you know what, Jason, I am going to quit my job. I'm going to give myself a year to save up and I'm going to go travel. And so for the next year, I planned out I wanted to go to this place and this place and this place. So fast forward, I saved up for an entire year, the job I was working at. And in 2012, I went and traveled for three months. I backpacked Europe all by myself, went to 25 different cities. I think it was like 11 different countries, went all over the place. And so what I realized was I actually love traveling. Like it is something that is deeply ingrained in me. And when you work for somebody else, 
it's really hard to travel sometimes, you know, it depends on the job you have, but it's hard to travel. For me, it's like something that I want to be able to leave and go for months at a time. And so when I came back, I actually moved from Tampa at the time after I went in, in, in 2012, I moved from Tampa to Austin, Texas. And so I moved to Austin where I am now. I've been here for over 10 years now. And I realized that, that traveling had to be a part of my life. It had to be something that I did. It couldn't just be something that I did two weeks out of the year. And so what I did was I started to build and figure out, okay, well, that means I need to figure out a way to make money online. I need to figure out a way to make money online, but I don't want to just sell shit online. Like I want to do something I'm passionate about. What am I passionate about? I started actually journaling through, becoming very clear and starting to work through what I was passionate about, what I wanted my life to look like. And I became very intentional, which is the most important part. And once it became intentional, I started trying to build it. I put the blueprint out on a piece of paper, journaled through the entire thing. And then after I put the blueprint onto a piece of paper, then I started to actually build it. And so now when I look at it, it's like, you know, I travel at least a couple months every single year. I'm able to run my business from anywhere in the world. You know, back in 2017, my girlfriend at the time, my wife now, we traveled for six months. We went all over, all over to Europe and Southeast Asia and Dubai and all kinds of different places in Bali. And it was only because I was intentional with what I wanted in my life. And I'm going to say something that might surprise some people out there. The life that you want, the life that you love doesn't just happen. It doesn't fall in your lap and you don't have to, you're not just going to wake up one day and your life is just perfect. It is exactly what you want in your life. That's, that's not going to happen. And I feel like a lot of people, if I'm being fully honest, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. I actually put an Instagram story on this the other day when I was just sitting around drinking my coffee, thinking about it. But a lot of people really, I feel like they live their life as if it's just going to fall in their lap and someone's going to come and save them. No one is going to come and save you. No one's going to build your life for you. No one's going to make the plans for you. No one's going to take out the things that you need to take out and bring in the things that you need to bring in. You don't just wake up and it's perfect. It is built. It is built intentionally, meticulously, and being very clear on what it is that you want, what it is that you don't want, what you're going to say yes to, and what you're going to say no to. You have to plan it. You have to write it down on paper. You have to check that plan every single day, and you have to execute every single day. But you got to journal through and put it on paper. One of my one of my friends who is a extremely successful guy, he's worth over $100 million. He's like 45 years old. It's the craziest thing. We go and get coffee every once in a while, and every single time we go and get coffee, he brings his journal with him everywhere. This guy's worth over $100 million, and he brings his journal with his goals everywhere. He reviews his goals every single morning. And he has built a life meticulously, step by step by step, by journaling it all out, figuring out what he wants, what he doesn't want, and exactly how he's going to get there. Because everything in your life is changeable. Like you are not stuck. You might feel like you're stuck sometimes, but you're not stuck. Where you live isn't stuck. You know, every aspect of it, what you do for, for your life, the way that you think about yourself, all of that. You're not stuck. What if you made a list of everything that you love in your life and everything that needs to change. And you went through every single aspect of your life very granularly, which is what we're going to do in just a minute. So you can go ahead and grab your journal if you want to. Everything that you love and you want more of or everything that you love and you don't have and you want in your life and everything that needs to change. And we're going to go through it, okay? So Let's just go ahead and do it together. You can pause me if you want to. We're going to actually start to work together, okay? First question, your significant other. What do you love about them? What needs to change? And you can pause me and you say, these are all the things that I love about them. These are the things that I feel need to change. This needs to change. This needs to change. This is how I need to change in the relationship in order for them to change. You know, so think about that with your significant other. What do you love about them? What needs to change? When you look at all of your friends and the, the people that you're closest to, your, your top five people that you spend the most time with, what do you love about them? And then what needs to change? When you look at your family, let's talk about your, your family, your children first, right? What do you love about them? What do you love about your relationship with them? What needs to change in the relationship? What needs to change in the way that you show up in the relationship with your children? All right. Now, what about your family? You know, take, your, take it outside of your just your spouse and your children and go outside of that. What do you love about your family? What do you love about the people that are around you and your family, the people, your parents, your brother, sister, all of that? And then what needs to change? Because I'm sure there's a lot of things that need to change, right? All right, what about your job, your career, or if you have a business, your business? What do you love about it? And then what needs to change? 
right? So there might be things that you love about your business. Like there's things I love about my business. And then I also ask my question, are there things that need to change? Yes, there are some things that need to change and I need to be the person to change it. So what do you love about your job or your career or your business? What do you love about it and what needs to change? Okay, what about people that you work with? Either people that are people that work with you in the company that you work at, or if you own the company, your employees, the people that you outsource things to. Everybody, what do you love about all of that? Your relationship, how they show up, how you show up, and then what needs to change in that? Okay, what do you love about where you live, your house, your apartment? What do you love about it? What needs to change in it? Oh, you know what? This thing needs to change. I don't feel like it's got really good energy. It's not very bright in here. Maybe I can get some some way to brighten it up, some new nice lamps to put inside of here, maybe some mirrors to brighten it up because it's so dark inside of my house. Okay, so what do you love about your house? And then what do you need to change? Uh, what about your car? What do you love about your car? Some of you guys are like, I don't have a car. That I, That needs to change. Okay, so what do you love about your car? What needs to change? If you live in like New York or something, you don't have a car, but you take the subway to, okay, what do you love about taking the subway? What needs to change in your subway ride? Oh, you know what? I could actually listen to more podcasts or I could read more books on the way, right? What about your clothes? What do you love about your clothes? What do you love about the way that you dress? What needs to change? Maybe like, you know what? I'm too conservative. I'm not this conservative. I want to look sexier. That needs to change. I'm going to start going for that. I want to wear more colors. I want to stop wearing so many, you know, black and white and tan colors. I want to put some more pop of color into it. Cool. Change it. Let's go. What about your mindset? What do you love about your mindset? What needs to change in your mindset? Okay. What do you love about your morning routine? What do you love about it? What needs to change your morning routine? How can you get it better? What do you love about your fitness routine? What needs to change your fitness routine? What do you love about the food that you eat? What needs to change in the food that you eat? Right? And from the moment that you wake up every single morning, you focus on how you can make everything the way that you want it. Think about everything that you do. Think about, you know, the, the second that you wake up in the morning to the second that you go to bed at night and think about every single thing that you do, don't do all of that stuff. And you think about everything, everyone, every action, every thought, everything that goes through your head and write it all down and say, what do I love and what needs to change? And realize that you might have a pretty decent life right now. It might be okay, but damn it, you know, it could be way better. What do you need to do to make it better? Let's make a plan. A lot of people don't know what they want. They know what they, they kind of have an, like, an idea, like, a, a, oh, I wish my life was kind of better. I wish I was kind of more fit. I wish I had a, a little bit more money. I wish I could maybe travel a little bit more, but like not very meticulously clear on exactly what it is that they want. Now realize changes are going to take time. You're not going to be able to make this massive list of all the things that we just talked about and just immediately implement it. Your life can be changed, right? But now we can start to make a transition plan for how you can transition into this life. You know, but if I told you like, it may not, might not happen the next six months, but if I told you in the next six years, let's say 10 years, eight years, you could have the perfect life. Would that excite you? Hell yeah, it would excite you. It's fully possible, but it's going to take you to do it. It's going to take your time, your attention, your work. It won't just happen. You have to treat your life like a business. You know, when you go into a business, we have a business, we have a business plan. What my business does what we do, what we don't do, all of that stuff. We have quarterly reviews, we have weekly meetings, and we have morning huddles. And it blows my mind how many people take their jobs more seriously than they take their lives. Like you, if you are on an advertise, in an advertising company, right? You have a, a plan of exactly what the, what the advertising company is going to do. You have quarterly reviews, you know, KPIs that you have to hit, weekly meetings. You have so many damn meetings with your team every single day and huddles. And you take that seriously. You're trying to hit all these things that you know you want to hit on a quarterly, weekly, yearly basis. On all of those basis, you're trying to hit all of those, right? but you're not planning out your own life. Like you're taking somebody else's business more serious with more intention, with more planning, with more action than your own life. Some people take their job more serious than they do a lot. Actually, a lot of people take their, their jobs more serious than they do their lives. All of this stuff that I'm going over with you is not, it's not rocket science. Let's be real. Like I'm not, I'm not going to win like a Nobel prize for, for this groundbreaking discovery that I found and I'm teaching to you guys. It's not crazy hard to do. It's very simple, but it takes time and it takes planning it out and it takes working for it and reviewing it often and making little tiny adjustments. But it's your fucking life. It should be important. Shouldn't this thing that you're doing 
be taken more serious than anything else? Shouldn't your life be taken more serious than anything else that you do? Absolutely. So why don't you start showing up more, getting very detailed, putting out the blueprint of your entire life and what you want it to look like, and then seeing what you love, what you don't love, and what needs to change. And you start figuring that out. And you look at it every single morning and start making adjustments and adjustments and more adjustments and more adjustments. And you fast forward 10 years from now and you look around, you're like, whoa, this is amazing. This is way different than it was before. That is how you build a life that you love. It takes planning. It takes time. It takes attention. And it takes daily work to make little tiny micro adjustments to create the life that you want. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories and tag me at Rob Dial Jr. R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. Once again, if you want the free uh, mini class, mini lesson that I put up about how to journal and the video with the video lesson, 30 days of journaling prompts, it's absolutely free. Go to MindsetMentorJournal.com right now. Once again, Mindset Mentor Journal. And with that, I'm gonna leave you the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an amazing day.